Breaking news, guys. This is really very, very interesting. Family of bride to be foreign kidnap attempt during wedding preparations in Zamfara State. Kills bandits. Recovers two AK-47 rifles. Yes, Northerners are now coming to the standards as it is right now. Nobody will save you because their leaders are not ready to save them with what is going on and everything. So you see, people are now defending themselves. A time will come, these bandits, when they understand now that Nigerians are now prepared for them, then go shocking. Now, because they feel say Nigerians are helpless, that is why they do what they do. So if Nigerians are now defending themselves, these people, they will not have, you know, the strength again to be attacking people anyhow. Don't also forget that Nigerian government don't talk, say, Nigerians are not allowed to carry gun. No. They said he's against our constitution. You see, because hey, if gun can't enter everybody, but now, everybody can't get gun now, uh, it will turn to anarchy. But let's just see what actually happened here. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on. I beg, subscribe, please, and give us a thumbs up. Thank you. May God Almighty bless you all. The family of a bride-to-be and a group of uh, passengers twafted a kidnap attempt by killing a terrorist in Zamfara State. According to PRN, PR Nigeria, the incident occurred when the family of the bride-to-be and other travelers were ambushed by terrorists along the Talata Mafara Gosun Highway. The family of the bride-to-be had embarked on a journey to purchase clothing and other wedding materials in Kano. However, their plan took a a harrowing turn when they were attacked by bandits. An eyewitness told PR Nigeria that the, the brave passengers took two AK-47 rifles from the bandits. You see, as God did the work. Narrating the incident, the eyewitness said, a few kilometers away from the Fangar Tama checkpoint, the travelers had gone short echoing all around. To their shock, they encountered two well-armed bandits on motorcycles, blocking the road and uh, they're stopping the vehicles. The bandits immediately ordered the young woman, the bride-to-be, her father, her mother, and two other relatives to exit their car. With guns pointed at them, the terrified family members were con we are conceded to follow the bandits into the nearby forest. Realizing the grave danger they faced in first abduction, the passengers decided to act swiftly. They rallied, rallied together. Uh, they rallied together and launched an attack on one of the two bandits. In a battle struggle, they managed to empower him, resulting. In his instant death, the other bandits, however, escaped, leaving behind his firearm. The courageous group retrieved the two guns and emerged from the forest. They promptly handed the weapon over to the military at a nearby checkpoint. P. Arrow Nigeria, uh, that one said that one of the report that one of the passengers suffered a heart attack during the experience and later died in hospital. Hmm. Yeah, I can't just imagine. You can imagine that that kind of horror movie. Hey, you can imagine that kind of horror movie. I don't tell them, say, now let them go save themselves. So if you wait for federal government of Nigeria, I be these their leaders when we say they know they talk about these people like that, like that. Then sit down for there, they accuse President Bola Tinubu of the insecurity that have bedeviled their region for, for many years now. 
the accused person when just enter office just just this 10 months you know of abandoning them eh then go finish them with that this is a good news the best news ever since this year congratulations to them the bandits they should not begin to understand that now people would not want to come again enough is enough that is what they did they defended themselves you understand they are tired and you see that mission they took eh, is like anything when one happen tomorrow make it happen today if not die one die make we all die that is just the decision they made but this one we have to fight congratulations to them oh. you can imagine what have what would have happened to these people they go reach now they go they call millions of naira for them person when one do marriage he go stay there for years maybe last last they go even marry the girl these people are going a lot are going through a lot understand i don't just want to go through this comment here you get because uh uh i don't want to talk that thing. what i just want to say here again is that they just have to wake up and fight for themselves because nobody is fighting for them now the hunter has been you know he has been haunted. I like this. I like this movie. It's an interesting one. It's a horror movie though, but it's a very interesting movie. So guys, let's hear from me. What's your take on this? Uh, once again, congratulations to every one of them. I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.